Hi, recorded as Roland. It is Friday, December 15th. So we're going to continue this midterm review. Uh, we'll uh, wrap up with these rotational dynamics posters. That'll take us uh, right about the class period. So yeah, I think this week uh, worked out pretty well on schedule. Right. Um, you guys do have your rotational dynamics quizzes uh, returned. So if you want to do corrections, you can do that. Just make sure you get the corrections to me before you leave uh, for the break. We just got a few days left here. Uh, let's look at midterm schedule. Uh, I, I think uh, Monday is just a regular day. And then Tuesday is going to be a funny day. Uh, guys, Tuesday, guess what? Your very first class period is at 845. Second period. Woo. Right, then you go through the date. We've got a modified schedule. Then your first period is your very first exam. It's the last two hours on Tuesday. Right? And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you have a couple of uh, classes and exams each uh, there. Okay. Uh, you guys remember for this class, the midterm is going to be two halves. The first half is 50 conceptual questions. Uh, one point each comes straight off this bank of 116. Uh, the second half is going to be 10 physics puzzles that look a lot like one of your uh, quizzes. All right, so five points a piece there. Right. And one or two questions uh, per uh, unit. Right. Uh, open notes. So any notes that you guys haven't taken, take today. Uh, let's call it study guide notes, uh, any of the printed pages notes, homework can be notes. All right. So thing there. Right. That is either. Uh, all right. All right. So here's a good uh, checklist for um, everything we've been uh, studying so far. So I go by. Uh, uh, okay, so we did a lot of pre preliminary stuff like uh, like measurement, SI units, uh, we did vectors, vector components, a little bit trigonometry, algebra. All right. All right. Then uh, now these units here are by AP's book. Right? So we're going by AP's book. You know, uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, unit one was kinematic motion. There's your linear motion projectiles. Uh, unit two, we had like, dynamics. There was forces, Newton's laws of motion. I remember some, some Atwoods going on. I remember block sliding down inclines, right? coefficient of friction, right? Right? free body diagrams. Right? Then uh, unit three, we had circular motion that involves centripetal force to keep something on a curved path. Uh, we brought in gravitation. We made orbits out of that. Right? Remember that? Uh, I introduced you guys to rotational kinematics at that point. Right? Also, I was like, uh, like rotational velocity. Uh, unit four was energy. Uh, remember, energy you can't create or destroy. So you can use that fact, the fact that energy is conserved, to set up equations and solve for things. Uh, for, uh, for example, potential energy turned to kinetic energy was a pretty classic one. Uh, you guys remember with those energy equations, you never really saw time as a variable, right? Um, except for maybe power, right? So rate of work, right? Uh, work for time, right? Could, could be. Right. Uh, right. Then uh, uh, momentum. So that was involved in collisions, right? So whenever you see a collision, like two blocks collide, I think it could probably something to do with mass time velocity uh, being also conserved, right? Just like energy is conserved, momentum is also conserved, right? But energy was a scalar, M momentum is a vector. So if something's, if you have like a head-on collision, like right, forward versus backward, ooh, that's be a positive and a negative value, right? So, okay. so there's your uh, collision physics there. Um, you guys saw some graphs for these two also, right? So energy, if you guys saw a force versus distance graph, that's probably a work or energy question. If you saw a force versus time graph, that's probably a impulse or momentum type question, right? Uh, I did, I don't have unit six here. Unit six is harmonic motion. We're going to save that for January. And, and actually, uh, that'll be a, a wrap on everything from AP. Uh, mm -hmm. and then we'll do a bunch of review with you guys. Okay. Uh, unit seven, uh, rotational dynamics. So kind of all the stuff times two, right? Uh, uh, like kinematic motion had a rotational equivalent with the rotational kinematic on a uh, right, dynamics and forces. Uh, yeah, the, like Newton's second law of motion. Now we have, instead of F equals MA, now it's torque equals I times alpha, right? So you have to get torque, you get angular momentum. All right, there you go. There's a big picture. So with that, uh, let's uh, switch over and hit the last uh, poster slides for rotational dynamics.